Hey folks, Michael Collins, EnviroReporter.com on Sunday, November 6th. We are now uh, testing a second uh, shower that just rolled through LA. And uh, before we did, we did background count in here and it was about 43.6 counts per minute. What you see in front of you is a paper towel where we wiped off our vehicle. And uh, just checking it like this before doing an average, check this out. I'm going to zoom in a little. It's going up and up and up. Not good. So we're going to do a 10 minute average. We're going to see what the score is here went up to 184 before I rolled this film. Calibrated 100%. 10 minute average. Here we go. Welcome to Los Angeles. The rain's hot tonight. We've just gotten a report from Glendale, where Lucid for Eight, who is running Radiation Station West in Glendale, has reported that the rainstorm that just came through there has come in at five and a half times background. What we just checked was about four and a half times background on the spot check. Now we're doing a 10 minute average. We predicted this for about the last eight months, that as the season changed, the jet stream would move slower, uh, lower across the United States. We've been getting sort of the edge of the jet stream in our precipitation, and we've gotten a somewhat higher radiation count. Certainly not as high as folks who have been getting jet stream storms uh, for the last eight months since uh, the triple meltdowns at Fukushima, Daiichi, and Japan, folks like uh, in north of St. Louis where we've had over 170 times background in the breadbasket of America. Places like the Pacific Northwest uh, where big uh, fruit industry uh, in Washington and Oregon State, British Columbia hammered by uh, fallout from Fukushima. There is no other explanation. Now when you look at these numbers here and we compare it to background, what we do is, is we find out what the normally occurring radiation is from cosmic sources, the sun, the stars, obviously not the sun here because uh, you never take detections like this in full sunlight. There's cosmic radiation, there's radiation from the earth or uranium and thorium and they create natural, so-called natural background. Now what you're hearing here, that's not natural. Oh no, Fukushima has arrived, LA. But don't kid yourself, it's not in just the rain now. It arrived in your food months ago. It's in our milk. We've tested it in our milk. We've tested dry milk that we found it in. We've tested it in turkey dogs. We've tested it in a number of food products that we found high. Uh, seaweed imported from Japan, different kinds of teas imported from Japan, Japanese beer, Japanese sake, radioactive. So this is all probably because of the triple meltdowns in Japan, where if you look at our background news feed, you'll see that the readings throughout Japan are re reaching astronomical heights. And there's talk of uh, moving the capital city of Tokyo if you can imagine. So what we're seeing here is Fukushima fallout. Now the reason I can say that versus it being uh, so-called radon progeny or radium from the earth secretes gives off a gas called radon. A lot of you know about it because you have uh, radon detectors in your basements back east and in the Midwest to get this, uh, to detect this radioactive gas which is uh, goes after your lungs. 
the fact of the matter is, is that the earth is emitting this gas. And so when it rains, the rain gets this gas in it and it comes down to earth and someone like me can detect it. Now, but that amount can only go up to about, oh, I don't know, uh, about a background's worth, background and a half. And uh, when we did spot detected 184 counts per minute earlier, that's about four and a half times background. Now, what's that mean? Well, the EPA, Environmental Protection Agency in the United States, and the Department of Energy here kind of have a basic guideline. You go two times, if you detect something twice background, pay attention. If you get into three times background, find out the source because you have a problem. Well, we're over three times background here. We know many places across the United States, Canada, and the world have had far higher readings. And the way we're all so interconnected, we don't grow most of our food here in L.A. It comes from out of L.A. Now, we've tried to address that in our Eat Me uh, blog post where we uh, write down our, uh, we impart the radioactive readings off the food that we purchase to try to help you to see if, uh, you, if you're interested in getting the same food that you'll know that at least what we tested in a particular store at a particular time wasn't radioactive. Now, the inspector alert here has a 10% plus or minus uh, range for error. So that means that if we have uh, 43.6 counts per minute background, we go 15% above and 15% below, uh, kind of we call that background because of this margin of error. We're approaching a double background now. Now, what should you do about this? Well, certainly, you're looking at this video, and if you come to EnviroReporter.com, you're going to learn a lot about radiation and a lot about Fukushima Daiichi, especially in our comments at this time before upcoming coverage comes out. So that's the place to start and uh, find out all you can about it. But I'll tell you this. If I was outside with my wife, Denise Ann, right now, I'd make sure to have an umbrella. I wouldn't be walking around and just letting this rain fall on me. I'd make sure to uh, take my shoes off when I came home, leave them by the front door, instead of walking it all around the house. What if you have a pet? Well, you know, you're going to have to think about that one. But basically, what you don't want to do is uh, track this stuff into your house, if you can help it. Don't get uh, misled by the uh, use of the term background. When I say this is, oh, it's over double background, it's coming up on triple background, you could say, well, so what? Uh, an editor of mine ventured that sticking an arm out the window and getting it a little sunburned while driving was more harmful than this stuff. Think again. The radiation that's causing the exceedances here are from fuel ponds and melted reactor cores. These are some of the most fearsome and poisonous radionuclides on the face of the planet. And they're being let loose into the environment, coming over on the jet stream and landing on America, Canada. We've had detections in Germany, France, all over the world, generally in the Northern Hemisphere. Now, so if you say, well, we can't do anything about it, those reactors have melted down. Well, let's hope that the Japanese get a handle on it, besides machinating the news and trying to feed the media misinformation. But what you can do is be aware of the fact that things could and are getting worse. The Japanese government has okayed the burning of 550,000 tons of radioactive material that was supposed to take place in the month of October, which just ended. Now, Denise Ann and I have been on a uh, fact-finding journey throughout the Southwest to be testing uh, radioactive uh, sources, possibly, if they're radioactive, like the snow melt coming down off the eastern Sierra, which we found to be A-OK. -okay. Um, and so we haven't been around following the controversy ignited by the ignition of 550,000 tons of radioactive trash. But I can tell you this, what Denise Ann and I found in the eastern Sierras 
and its benign nature, well, that might just have gone away because yesterday as we left Death Valley, we uh, looked up and we saw the recent night, uh, the prior night storm had left a good deal of snow on the Panamint Mountains in Death Valley, which is one range over from the High Sierras. Now, that snow is impacted with radiation. To what it level, I don't know, but I can posit this. Uh, the farther you are away from the center of the jet streams uh, storms, the less radiation you seem to get. And uh, Lucid out in Glendale seems to be getting slightly higher readings than us. Now, the High Sierras and the Panamints and Death Valley are certainly far north of where we are on the western edge of Los Angeles. I'll posit that the uh, precipitation that fell on those mountains is higher in radiation than what you're seeing here. But let's get back to what you're seeing here. For months, people in Los Angeles have not had a clue that their food, to an extent, has been impacted by fallout from Fukushima. Now, you don't need to go to the store and buy radioactive food impacted by the triple meltdowns to understand, looking at that there inspector alert, which just topped out at 1,400, which means 140 counts per minute, which is way over 43.6 counts per minute, that we have a problem. And the problem's coming down in the sky. And for all the effort that people are putting out to affect change in this country by participating in the electoral process with our upcoming elections, by getting involved with the Occupy Wall Street movement that's taking place all over the country, to voice how they feel about the direction of this nation and the world, what you got to remember is all of us are being impacted by this and the consequences are almost impossible to imagine, but you won't have to imagine them for very much longer because it's here. It's here now in the rain in Los Angeles. Check back here at Enviro Reporter often as we'll keep you up to date on this evolving story.